Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my 100th video and the first ever episode of Naboxid Cooks. Obviously, I am Naboxid, and I have finally settled on video number 100 for my YouTube channel, and I would like to thank you all for having supported me this far. Uh, obviously, I do these videos because I'm, I enjoy them, and... I got a great idea from one of my co-workers to do a cooking video, and obviously something you guys haven't seen, so let's get at it, shall we? First things first, folks, we got some ingredients to deal with. I'm going to start with the seasoning. With some of the seasonings right here, we got some chili powder that I'm going to be mixing up with a bit of garlic powder and some ground cumin. So let's get started. Got ourselves a mixing bowl right here because we're obviously not going to be doing a mass amount of work. Uh, for me, the main ingredient will be the chili puff. The main seasoning will be the chili powder. Main spice. So we'll put in a couple of spoonfuls there. And we got some cumin here, as I showed earlier. One spoonful of that should do. And we don't need that much garlic powder just for the just for the taste. Mix it all up. Just so you guys can get a closer look as to my spice mixture here. Two parts chili powder, one part cumin, and a little, a tiny bit of garlic to taste. I've got here some extra lean beef from Safeway. Because obviously the leaner the better. A handful of beef. Yep, measured it up to the to the buns and this should do. I'm going to coat going to coat the beef into the mixture. Mix it. Mix this seasoning in there. And put a little bit more in the Because I've tried it before where I mixed it in all of the meat at the same time, didn't quite distribute the way I wanted it to. You know, some parts were nice and well seasoned, but not so much as other spots, so hopefully this will turn out better. Looks like the package of beef I got from Safeway will give me enough, just enough for four burgers. So this is what they look like after mixing in the, the cumin, the chili, and the garlic powder. So let's see how they turn out after I've done grilling them. And yes, that is a George Foreman grill that I'm using. While the beef itself is cooking, I am going to show you guys what, like my little extra touch on here. I got here the burger bun set up, got some marble cheddar on the side ready to put on when the beef is done. At the top, of course underneath uh, all the greens uh, are a couple slices of Roma tomatoes. Got some lettuce which are two standard taco toppings. Also got here some sliced green pepper to enjoy. Because I just happen to enjoy green peppers. We all need those vegetables. I'm not a big onion fan, so green peppers to me feel like a decent alternative to be able to say, hey, I'm actually trying to get my veggies in there. And down here at the bottom of the burger, we got some Tostito rounds and some salsa. 
And that to me is uh, kind of the extra little kick that I was looking forward to add into the taco burger. And this is just what made it look so interesting to me was the idea of being able to use salsa instead of like regular ketchup or mustard. So while I got the other two patties cooking, I wanted to show you guys the finished product. Got their the tostitos and the sauce at the bottom, got the beef, the marble cheddar, got the green peppers, the lettuce, the tomato. I'm not a big fan of sour cream, otherwise sour cream would, would have been a great topping to replace mayonnaise, but I'm just not a big fan of sour cream. So here is what the taco burger looks like, folks. And so here we have it, folks. I have completed cooking with naboxid. Um, as you saw, I did four, four taco burgers. I had one fresh off the grill. It was fantastic. And, uh, well, I myself am very satisfied with how it came out. I think I may have used a little too much on the one that I ended up eating. Uh, I was still tasting the chili, uh, the chili seasoning about four or five hours later in my burps. But aside from that, it was still a fantastic burger to do fresh. I took in the other three today to share with my co-workers. I work in a restaurant, so having people I work with would obviously get good feedback. The reheating process left the, left the burgers a little dry, but other than that, the response I got from my co-workers was really good. Very supportive, and I'm obviously glad to hear that. And I would like to thank you guys for joining me through the past hundred videos, and hopefully I'll be able to do another hundred, so stay tuned. For no reason, here's Caveman Cupid.